For 40 years, he has served the people of Lee County, and he's not done. Welcome back. I'm Russ McCaskey. And I'm Nicole Gabe. Dr. Larry Antonucci came to Lee Health right out of residency. And in 1983, Lee Memorial was the only hospital. Now he is president and CEO in charge of four acute care hospitals and two specialty hospitals, plus primary care and outpatient facilities and much more. So who better to ask than Dr. Antonucci what's next in health care in Lee County? The title is informal. Southwest Florida's top doc. That was never Dr. Larry Antonucci's plan when he arrived at Lee Health in 1983. My plan was to be a practicing obstetrician gynecologist for my uh, career. And for 24 years, Antonucci delivered babies. But the only thing constant in his life is change. When the CEO of Lee Health asked him to join the administration, Antonucci told me, he couldn't say no. You know, this is an opportunity to, to take care of people a thousand at a time instead of one at a time. I sat down with Dr. Antonucci to talk about his 40 years with Lee Health and beyond. What's next for the next 15 years, let's say? I think healthcare is going to change. I think we're going to see a lot of transformation in healthcare, and we want to be at, at the front edge of that. Antonucci said he sees healthcare shifting care away from the hospital to the home. We're looking at a hospital at home program right now to be able to take care of lower acuity people in their own homes. It's really going to be part of a team that can transform healthcare and deliver healthcare in a better way, in a, in a more patient centered, family centered way. One that, it, that keeps people out of the hospital, it keeps people out of the emergency room. Speaking of the ER, wait times during season continue to be an issue. I don't think there's any way to completely resolve it. It would be like saying, how are you going to affect the traffic on US 41? But Antonucci told me that doesn't mean Lee Health isn't trying. The system, what he calls our front door strategy, which calls for improving access to primary care doctors instead of going to the ER. Are we seeing any AI in medicine? Yeah, again, AI is at its infancy as it relates to medicine. Healthcare is a high touch field. Uh, the, you're never going to replace the bedside nurse and, and what needs to be done there. And you're never going to replace the skill of a surgeon and the decision making and the judgments that have to be made in the middle of a surgical case. Do you have any ethical concerns when it comes to AI and the role of medicine? We're going to have to see how it all evolves. And, uh, and what kind of safeguards are going to be in place. I think there's always the potential, and I think you know there's plenty of issues that we deal with now in healthcare with regard to fraud and abuse, and I think that's not going to stop, but we just got to stay on top of it. Now, there are still times when patients here must leave Lee County for treatment, and Dr. Antonucci told me that his team is actively recruiting specialists to meet the needs of our growing community. And one final note, Lee Health will build a new hospital along Challenger Boulevard, but Antonucci told me there are no definite plans on when.